Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, is a new arrest for an old case a violation of probation? If you get arrested for a new case while you're serving a probationary term, then you're obviously going to face a violation of probation. But what happens if while you're on probation, you get arrested for something that actually occurred before you were placed on probation? Bear with me here. Let's say, for example, that on January 1st, 2019, you get sentenced to one year of probation for the crime of lurking with the intent to gawk. Fast forward to March 10th of 2019, and you get arrested for burglary. The logical conclusion is that you're going to face both a new substantive criminal prosecution and a violation of probation. But then again, you may not, because not all arrests occur in the moment. If you were arrested on March 10th of 2019 at the scene and during the course of a burglary, then you've definitely got yourself a VOP on your hands. But if you were arrested on March 10th, 2019 for a burglary that occurred in 2018 before you were placed on probation, then even though the physical arrest occurred after you were placed on probation, you cannot face a VOP for it. The reasoning is simple. The facts of the new burglary precede the date that you were placed on probation. Therefore, you didn't violate your probation. Of course, you're still going to have to defend the new burglary case, but at least you won't have to deal with a violation of probation at the same time. It's very important for you to note that this does not mean that the jail can't or won't hold you without bond until you're taken before your probation judge, nor does it mean that your probation officer can't or won't file an affidavit alleging a VOP. But it does mean that if the facts of the new case precede the date that you were placed on probation, then your judge is ultimately going to have to release you from jail, and ultimately they're going to have to dismiss a violation of probation. Thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.